hey, I hear country music and I suddenly have the urge for Texas barbecue ribs at Buster's in Gresham. Now, why would that be? Well, the behavioral view of personality talks about conditioning and training, and that tells us that we associate things together. That's one of the ways we learn things. Music works the same way. So we're going to do a little demonstration and a game for you guys today about music and how that triggers certain responses, certain reactions to us. So listen to this. Um, what I want you to do, I'm going to play a song that you've probably heard many times before. I want you to think of where you were when you have heard this in the past, previous experiences, uh, how old you were, who you were with, what situation, what was going on when you were uh, associating this song in the past training, and how it makes you feel now as well. So just sort of go back in time if you've heard this before. Hopefully most of you have. Mama, just kill a man. Put a gun against his head. Pulled my trigger, now he's dead. Mama, life had just begun. Now, that should bring back some memories. For me, I remember uh, in the car, uh, in Mike Myers' movie, Wayne's World, but I also remember other things associated with that. So the thoughts and the memories that we have are trained by classical conditioning. So what's personality? Personality is our enduring, consistent set of behaviors and characteristics and traits that we see with individuals in many different settings and situations. So one point of view is the behavioral view. The behavioral view says that we come into the world sort of like a blank CD. Uh, there's nothing in our experience yet, but every experience that we have throughout our life uh, gets added to that CD, burned into our memory, our training, and it conditions us to be who we are. One of those types of training is classical conditioning established by Pavlov, or at least documented with his dogs back a hundred or so years ago. So with classical conditioning, things that happen together uh, remind us of each other when they occur in the future. So if two things occur around the same time, when we one of those things occurs again, we see it, we hear it, we remember it, we start remembering the other. Typically triggers memories, feelings, and thoughts. So with Bohemian Rhapsody that I just played, maybe that brought to mind certain kinds of things. Um, oftentimes uh, there are other uh, pieces of music associated with uh, movies and TV that we are hearing over and over again and we want, uh, or at least the advertisers want them to be associated with them. So let's see if you can think of this one. I'm not gonna sing it, but I'll play just the intro and this might bring back some memories, not only what the song was, but again, where were you when you heard it before? How old were you? Just any kinds of memories that go back to the original training. Here we go. Was let it go from the movie Frozen, the original Frozen movie. What I'm going to do now is a slightly different classical conditioning game. This is a name that tune game. I'm going to play some bits of songs. You won't get the answers until later, so get your pads of paper down and ready to do this unless you watch the video again. If you want to take the challenge, do it the first time and only one time and see if that works for you. But I'll let you go over it again if you want. I'll play a little bit of a song. I won't tell you what it is. Many of these you should recognize. And uh, we'll give you the answers and see how well you do. What this does is our memories can often be triggered by 
the stimulus that was associated with it at the time. That's how we remember things. So what you're doing as you're listening to the music is you're trying to recognize what it is, but then you're going to a different part of your memory, which is who performed that and what song is that? What's the song title? So the best challenge is to come up with the song title. I'll be doing about 20 or so of these, just little bits of them. First, we're going to start on the piano. So let me get my papers out of the way here. Okay, here's a very recent one. Again, that's number one. Here's number two. Okay, now let's go to number three. Now let's change instruments a little bit. Let's go to the acoustic guitar and some guitar songs. Same thing, here is number four. Again, play along, see if you can write down the title and who performs this. The title would be good enough if you got that, so here. Number five. six. Probably an easy one, I think. That's all you got for that. Number seven. Ten, I'm going to put the capo on the guitar. That is exactly how it's done in the real song. So, oh, just ignore that. I messed up. Let's try that again. got so far number 11 okay for number 12 let's move the capo up to the third fret
13, the capo is going to go up even higher to fret number 7. Original was on the 12 string guitar, by the way. Number 14, seventh fret again. A revised version of this song. acoustic song. This is an old one, classic rock. See if you can get this one. Might be a little trickier. We'll see. Now, one more instrument. Let me put this down for a second and get to my electric guitar. I have some of those for you. So, we have done 15 so far. Again, we're connecting conditioned responses, which is your thoughts, your memories that are triggered by hearing the music. The music is a conditioned stimulus that is linked because of past training to memories of the song. So when you hear them now, your responses now are your memories, thoughts, and emotions that are triggered by hearing the song again. The better I play it, the closer to the original, the stronger a response you're going to get. So what do we have here? We're playing Name That Tune still, and you can see how well you do a little bit later. So here's the first one. Should be an easy one. Seventeen, the catchy intro here. here. The intro's well known. 
That's all you got. Last one. Last one. It's a little bit different than this. The solo part in the intro is what you're going to probably recognize from this one. Tune in for the answers. I'll send them to you by email a little bit later. Good luck.